Hello my beautiful ones, welcome back. Today I want to film you a video on hair loss as uh, when you have polycystic ovarian syndrome one of the symptoms is to lose the hair on your head because uh, too many androgens in the body uh, weaken the hair follicle and it ends up um, shedding all of the hair so you start to lose a lot of hair on your head and um, I would have to say that this is probably the worst symptom when it comes to polycystic ovarian syndrome and I think a lot of you would agree with me because whilst acne and weight gain and these other things are common symptoms of other health disorders as well losing your hair is just like it's scary because I think we assume that it's not going to grow back and we don't know why it's happening and we don't know like when it's going to grow back when it's going to stop shedding so this was definitely the hardest one for me to grasp and um, this is why I make these videos because I suffered a lot along my journey with polycystic ovarian syndrome um, and I wasn't mentally prepared for what was happening with my body because it all happened so quickly. It's like I just started losing my hair in handfuls, I was gaining weight, my acne came up and I just didn't know which symptom I needed to address first and the truth of the matter is, um, and I'll say this over and over again, you have to address it at the root, which is addressing all of your symptoms, rather than just focusing on, I really, really want to stop the hair loss. It's got to be a more holistic view. This is the only way to do it. So my intention for these videos is just to be the light for you and just to show you what your body is capable of and to recognize the fact that your natural state is to be healthy and to have beautiful hair on your head and to have clear blemish-free skin and to, um, you know, be a weight that is comfortable and normal for your particular metabolic type. So this is the natural state of your body. So it's just about breaking through these roadblocks um, that have caused this, these symptoms to come up and to cause the polycystic ovarian syndrome. And this is my intention with all my videos, just to show you all of these different ways that you can do this. So when it comes to hair loss, there are a couple of things that I would do that I was doing and um, I was desperate this was the one symptom that I was like I need to make this go away I need to stop losing my hair and it became a bit of a trauma for me every time I was washing my hair and just more and more handfuls would just fall out and just I would watch it circling the drain my drain was constantly blocked up with so much hair and um, my housemates would always like make jokes not knowing how sensitive I was to the topic they would make jokes around like Sarah's hair is like always clogging up the drains and secretly inside I was dying because so I was like I don't want my hair to be clogging up the drain either it just won't stop falling out so the first thing I did after doing a lot of research was going on saw palmetto supplement which is a plant it's a natural supplement um, and this is actually helping to block excess androgens and it helps to alleviate hair loss for women suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome. And so I gave this particular supplement a good go. I think I was on it for around like eight or nine months, maybe even a little bit longer than that. And I was on a relatively high dosage as I was seeing a kinesiologist at the time and she tested um, a very high dosage on my body and said that that's what my body was asking for. And so I stayed on this supplement. And um, to be perfectly honest with you, I was had very high expectations because I did a lot of research on Google. And um, as you do when you're desperately seeking the answers, I'm sure you're familiar with. I did a lot of research on Google and um, I was convinced like this is going to work for me. It's worked for so many other people. Um, and this particular supplement didn't work for me. I don't think it stopped my hair loss at all. Um, and I gave it nearly a year. Um, so... But another thing that I was doing, but in all honesty, give it a go. Everybody is different. And um, if you feel that it resonates with you to try out this supplement, give it a go for three months. Um, although, you know, if you don't see a change, don't stay on it because it's just excess stuff for your liver to process. And when we're trying to balance our hormones, we really want to be placing emphasis on a healthy liver. So don't be taking any supplements you don't feel are working for you. I will say that. Another thing that I was doing was maybe twice or three times a week, I was doing a castor oil hair mask. So castor oil is a really, really incredible oil. Um, look that up, C-A-S-T-O-R. And um, I was making a hair mask out of probably two thirds of castor oil 
um, one third coconut oil because castor oil is very thick. It has a very thick consistency and coconut oil is a lot thinner consistency. So when you mix them together, it's like the perfect consistency just to apply all over your scalp. And so I would do this and I would give myself a little bit of a head massage and I would leave it in overnight. And um, yeah, this has got a lot of positive benefits proven to it. Castor oil is a very, very potent, powerful oil for the human body. Um, so I would definitely give this a go as well because uh, if it isn't helping your hair loss, it's at least strengthening the hairs that are on your head. So this is something I would recommend. It's also a really nice little relaxing self-care, self-love practice. So give that one a go. Um, and then I think it's really important for me to recognize that at the end of the day, um, hair loss is happening because there are too many androgens in the body. And so if you want to relieve this symptom, if you want to stop the hair loss, it really does need to be addressed at the root. So I would go and watch my video um, seven step program um, to balancing your hormones or healing your polycystic ovarian syndrome because that just covers every single detail of what you would really need to do. And you have to commit to it. Like you have to really, really commit to this for at least three months to see some really noticeable changes because hair loss is one that it takes a little bit longer to notice, um, you know, the progression of things. Acne is one thing to see your skin is starting to clear, but hair loss, I think for me, it was like a longer process. Um, so go check out that video and um, just remember that the clearest indicator that things are getting better and that your body is healing is a healthy period and healthy ovulation. So ask yourself the question, how many days is my cycle? And if you don't have a cycle at the moment, then you can understand um, you know, why the hair loss is happening. So your key aim, stop focusing on the hair loss, stop focusing on the acne or any of your other symptoms, focus on gaining a healthy regular cycle. Um, and so this can be anywhere from like 28 to 35 days long or so. So um, when our cycle is restored, ovulation is restored, when you are bleeding very healthily and um, you're not receiving so much pain, these are all clear indicators that your body is healing. So focus on these things rather than focusing on the hair loss, even though I know it's hard because I know we feel so desperate as women we have such a deep connection to our hair. You know, men start to bald and they're kind of like, whatever. Um, but for us, it's like our hair makes us feel feminine and it makes us feel sexy. And when we start to lose half of it on our head and you can't conceal the bald spots on your scalp anymore, it's very, very depressing. And so I'm with you and I feel you so much. Um, although I think the key thing I want to say in this, this video for all of the people that have been messaging me asking if this can be turned around Yes. Yes, of course it can. Um, you know, there are some specific cases where it's like alopecia and hair won't grow back. But in the case of most hormonally imbalanced women, it's just too many androgens in the body and it's causing the hair follicle to weaken. So yes, it can grow back. And I couldn't imagine this when my hair had like fallen out, like half of it had fallen out. I could barely even put it in a ponytail anymore without it just feeling uncomfortable and feeling like you could see bald spots. And I just couldn't even imagine ever having healthy hair again. I just, I couldn't imagine it. But I want you to start imagining it. I want you to know that it's possible. And the way that it starts happening is you just start noticing that less and less hair is starting to fall out when you shower. And you just start noticing that it's not as knotty when you're like combing it out and not as much as going and circling the drain anymore. And then over time, after this process happens for a while, you just start to notice that more hair is on your head. It's remaining on your head and it just starts to thicken up again. So it's a process and it will take some time and you really do need to commit to your health in a holistic way and reduce the androgens that are in your bloodstream. Although, yes, your hair can and will grow back if you commit to your health. So I hope that this gives you some hope. Um, send me a message if you have any other questions. Um, and yeah, do your own research and, you know, always read everything on Google, especially with a skeptical mind, always watch my videos with a skeptical mind, you know, you are your biggest teacher and the answers are within you. Um, all I can do is provide information on what worked and what didn't work for me. So yeah, reach out if you have any questions and I love you lots and all will be well and you are beautiful. Mwah.